Hey YouTube, Custoda here. Okay, so, how Goofball died. Real. I don't know why he felt the need to put in real. Anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know, Hot, this is a video by Hot Diggity Demon, who's uh, known for making all those funny pony videos. Especially the ones that were... Ah, which was it? Yeah, it was back when My Little Pony was really popular. I don't know how to describe them. They were uh, violent and raunchy. That's it. And he's also done a lot of uh, good movie reviews. Anyway, I like this guy. He's relatable to me, you know, in being that he's trying to make a life better for himself, working hard for, and complains about how life is crappy. I don't know. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, watch the original. I don't know this. I'm thinking about getting an ant farm. Chocolate chunker bunker bunkers. Farm? I don't care. Do what you want. Well... I was just thinking it might be cool if I had an ant farm, I guess. <sighs> Begging for attention. Never seen this part. I guess he's... Is he Boy, doing a new sure animated series? An ant farm. Will you just get a f***ing ant farm already? <laughs> <laughs> ah, brain dump. Wait, this is Brain Dump? To brain dump folks. The There's the ant farm. On the internet. Today we wanted to try something oh, he's got Dupless on his shirt. So we thought it would be fun to answer some of your questions. What do you got for us, Burnbot? Marcus asks, Dear Max, Goofball is so annoying. Have you ever considered performing an exorcism to Age get rid of once for all? Well, unfortunately, I have already attempted a Goofball exorcism, but it wasn't really as effective as I was hoping it would be. Uh. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> what is this meeting to? Do it again. In time. No, do it now. In time. <laughs> Can't you just do it now? Well, I'm afraid that would be a vulgar display of my power. It would be a vulgar display of your power if you did it again, but it wasn't a vulgar display of your power when you did it 15 seconds ago? That's right! Ugh, why aren't you cute today? <laughs> oh, I'm cute every day, sweetheart. I'm not saying I won't do it again, I'm just saying in time. Goofball, just do it again. Unless you can't. Ha! I don't have anything to prove to you! Which is exactly what you would say if you were incapable of proving something to me. The optics of which would be concerning if I cared what you think, which I don't. Why are you always so difficult? Everything is like pulling teeth with you. All that I'm asking you to do is to do what you just did again and i will in time in time oh god why did i wait so long to watch this <laughs> right as he turns around <laughs> I love this. let me guess you could have opened that drawer at any time well no not any time only when it was funny <laughs> there we go He's dead. Hey, What's choking him going to do that? Things inside of other references to things, oh, them for you. kill the ants. What? Mexican popcorn. What? Excuse me? First, you add a third a cup of corn and four tablespoons of vegetable oil to a large, deep, covered pan. Also yeah, that's... known as a pot if you're not a complete idiot. Cover it and put it on medium-high heat. And remember to give it a good shimmy every 45 seconds or so as it cooks. When you see the corn start to push against the lid, part it slightly and then shake the excess into your popcorn bowl. Do this as many times as you need to until you hear the popping start to die down. And then empty the rest in. In a smaller bowl, combine two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two okay. tablespoons of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of lime juice, and a pinch of salt and pepper. If you want something more authentic, you can use two tablespoons of melted clarified butter instead of the vegetable oil, but you have to make sure it's melted clarified butter. Melted regular butter has water in it, and water will make the popcorn soggy. And there's right. already water in the lime juice, so we're already pushing it. And I know that mayonnaise on popcorn sounds disgusting, but stick with me here. Incorporate about a third of the goo into the corn, and then start tossing with a large metal or plastic spoon or spatula. Make sure that you mix upwards from the bottom so that each piece gets coated. When it looks even, you can add another third of the goo and repeat, and then finally the last third. You can try adding the goo all at once, but I wouldn't. Now that the corn is coated in the wet mix, we can add the dry mix. Add a third a cup of dusted cotija cheese. If you can't find cotija cheese, dusted I'm, I'm starting to realize once that's tossed, there may have been a reason why he put real in the title. Part and 
toss it again, and then you eat it. I'm not gonna make that. Goofball, how did you die? Finally, there we go. Uh. Excuse me? Well, we've known each other for a few years, and I'm only just now realizing that I've never asked before. And we're answering questions from the fans today, and this is a question that we get all the time. I mean, you're a ghost, so presumably you were alive, and then you died, and now you're dead. So is he being racist? How did that happen for you? And you really think that's an appropriate question to ask? You don't see how that's rude at all. Is it? I don't know. I have no frame of reference here. Yeah, well, it is. <laughs> Asshole. All right, well, never mind then. Moving on. There I was, repelling triumphantly out of the cockpit of my $700,000 helicopter. And with a single kick of my mighty foot, I collapsed the ceiling of the Oval Office and landed in a brilliant display of magnificent athleticism. Thank you for coming on such short <laughs> notice. What is this? America needs you, goofball. <laughs> Not a problem, I replied. The sun He's black? shining spectacularly off my beautiful ebony skin. I knew the situation was bound to be of the utmost importance. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're black? Yes. Yeah. You're not black. Yeah, I am. What, you think just because I'm a white ghost, that must mean I'm the ghost of a white guy? Do you think when black people die, they turn into black ghosts? I suppose I've never considered it before. But I mean, you don't have a... Don't. Don't. What? Uh... A black voice. There we go. Oh, a black voice? There we and go. What pray tell is a black voice to you? What do black people sound like? Can you do an impression of a black voice? You know what? Let me get a chair. Let me get a fucking ghost chair. Because who, boy, do I gotta hear this? I gotta sit down for this. Because who, boy. Where did he get the ghost chair? So let's hear it. Do ghosts have- do chairs have souls? I'd like to rescind my comment. What was that? I said I rescind my comment. Can you please just keep going? What's the mission, Mr. President? It's ISIS, Agent Goofball. ISIS Wait, this was is ISIS? back on their bullshit. They've kidnapped Princess Ketchup, ruler of the Condiment Kingdom. And what? unless their perverted demands are met, they'll bomb America with 5,000 nukes at once. Princess Ketchup? Well, sure. Who else would be the ruler of the Condiment Kingdom? Princess Mustard? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, what about Princess Mayonnaise? I stuffed the president snugly into my backpack. <gasps> what is this? I into the goofmobile and took off for their top secret hideout, 123 Isis Street. I knew that time was not on my side. Don't roll your eyes at me. You're the sick fuck who puts mayonnaise on popcorn. And how top secret could it be if it's 123 Isis Street? And why does the goofmobile look like a ghost if you're still alive? I didn't have any weapons, but I knew that the radical Islamic militants would be intimidated into submission by my glorious muscles, masculine jawline, and uncommonly dazzling stature, as I am six foot five. You're not six five, goofball. Six five is pretty tall. Well, how would you know? I know because I'm six five. Okay, well, you're six foot five, and as you can see, we're roughly the same height. The only reason we're the same height is because you float five feet off the ground, you jackass. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway, because before I got there, I had to make a quick pit stop. To rob a bank! I knew what? it was wrong, but it was the only way that my gay lover could finally afford a gender reassignment surgery. What the oh. fuck? Oh, okay. Dog day afternoon. Excuse me? It's a movie with Al Pacino. It's a great movie. It's a movie I think everybody should watch. I but won't. it didn't happen to you. 
because it's a movie. Well, I've never heard of this movie. I suppose they must have based it on my life. Goofball, Dog Day Afternoon came out 45 years ago. Well, maybe I died 46 years ago. Then why is Trump the president in your flashback? When I met you, Trump wasn't elected yet. And if your <laughs> lover needed money for a sex change, why didn't you just not buy the $700,000 helicopter? You know, you seem to be taking umbrage with a lot of this story. But is my story really the problem? Or do you just not like the idea of living with a black gay roommate? <laughs> you know that's not true, goofball. Well then let me finish, you monster. I <laughs> leapt from the goofmobile and ran inside where I told the bank tellers to fork over the dough. But before I was able to complete the job, I was fatally shot. Uh, let me guess. The cops got ya. Well, maybe someday black lives will matter in this country. No, I was shot by the <laughs> money I was nice. stealing. You Wait, see, what? money loves living at the bank. It's like a vacation. It just sits on its ass all day and doesn't have to work. And the bank tellers have to wait on it hand and foot. <laughs> what? Goofball, if you don't want to tell me how you died, you don't have to, but don't float there and lie to me like I'm an idiot. Since I was dead, I felt the most obvious course of action would be to dedicate myself to comedy. And that's how I became Goofball, the goofy cartoon ghost, America's most beloved cartoon mascot. Thank you. Oof, I hate to break it to you, Goofball, but you're not America's most beloved cartoon mascot. As you can clearly see from this infographic, you have a lot of catching up to do before you're in the same league oh, as Oh, Pikachu's on top? Yikes. Nice! You're even behind that horrible pupa from that Hulu show with all the product placement. Oh, and both of you guys are doing worse than the damn baby nut! And nobody <laughs> likes the baby nut! Well, at least we can agree the baby nut is terrible. Oh, don't even get me started on that damn baby nut! But anyway, I don't buy any of it. I don't think you're six foot five, I don't think you know the president, and I certainly don't think there's a goof mobile. Well, you can believe what you want, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Pop, 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 okay. peace out, bitches! Damn. A spin dash, nice. Well, folks, I guess it's up to you to decide if you think all that gobbledygook is canon or not. No. But I do not. I'm Max G, this was Brain Dump, and I hope you hated it. I liked it. <laughs> Uh, relatable. Generated insult is brought to you by the fine folks at Raycon. Raycon Everyone's talking about Raycon. Maybe I'll get Raycon. And sync and stay sunk to your favorite devices seamlessly. Go to buyraycon.com slash goofball to get 15% off your order or click the link in the description below. Raycon earbuds are half the price of other premium earbuds on the market. And they're enjoyed by celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Brandy, and Melissa Etheridge. They're okay. great for working uh, out, going for a jog, or if not. you just don't want to drive your roommates crazy with your horrible, embarrassing taste in music. The Everyday E25s have a six-hour battery life, a compact design that gives you a nice just noise six hours fit and yeah that's actually pretty several good several beautiful colors so once again go to buyraycon.com slash goofball or click the link in the description below okay what was the something milk you milk bellied rumbumptuous lubberwort <laughs> ah this is adorable is that everything? Okay, I'm gonna play you there a recording of somebody's voice. And I want you to tell me, just based on the voice, <laughs> this if this person OTP is right Squidward and Ink Girl? Alright. It's a warm, charming game with a lot of humor and a lot of energy. Playing Banking Suit just makes you happy. In other words, it's a masterpiece. Well, I have no idea who that is, but clearly he's a black guy. <laughs> Like this poster? Well, use the link below and head on over to the Brain Dump online merch store to get yours today. That everything? Yeah, that's everything. Oh man, I can't believe I waited so. I should have gotten this when it came out immediately. Ah, oh, all right. Good job, hot diggity demon. All right, see you guys next time. What is that?